Coming up on Home and Away, it's touch and goes to whether critically ill Mac is going to survive. Elsewhere, Dana gets a blast from the past, and a shocking run-in with the police results in Leah calling off her wedding to Justin. Mackenzie lies unconscious on the floor at Salt after suffering a suspected heart attack and Xander is unable to find a pulse. A hospital dash later and Brie battles to save Mac's life, while warning her loved ones to prepare for the worst. Thankfully she's able to save Mac, and as she comes round, Brie wants to know what she remembers. At the hospital, Cash confronts Felicity over the fight she had with Mac prior to her collapse and she snaps back, revealing that she heard him and Eden discussing Tane sleeping with other women. As Tane enters the room, Flick lashes out at her estranged husband, forcing Brie to eject them from the building. Back at home, Cash puts Felicity in her place, saying she has only got herself to blame for her marriage split. Felicity knows he's right and goes to apologize to Mackenzie, but her friend doesn't want to know. Meanwhile, there's a new face in Summer Bay when Dr. Levi Fowler arrives to treat Mac. The hotshot cardiothoracic surgeon also has an impeccable bedside manner and is able to soothe Mac's fears ahead of her surgery. The operation is a success and Levi is able to detect and repair a tear in Mac's artery. Levi's backstory starts to be explored when Dana reveals she worked with him at her old hospital. Having assumed the surgeon won't remember they were former colleagues, Dana is shocked when Levi does recognize her. The pair catch up and Dana is relieved that Levi doesn't care about the gossip surrounding her departure from her previous job. Felicity goes to Molly demanding to know who Tane has been sleeping with, which only increases tensions. As the exes cross paths, Felicity pleads her love and begs Tane to forgive her, but he remains unmoved. Later, Harper clocks Tane's distress and lends him a friendly ear. He opens up about Felicity, admitting he's been fighting for their relationship since the day they met. John's week gets off to a bad start when Alf reveals the Surf Club committee have called an executive meeting to discuss his recent behavior and he warns that things are looking grim. Encouraged by Irene, John vows to defend himself, but makes the situation worse by clashing with Alf. Later, Alf reveals John's fate, he can keep his job, but he won't be teaching. John is devastated and retaliates by resigning from the club altogether. Justin is relieved to have completed the last day of his anger management course and looks forward to a romantic night in with Leah. Unfortunately his plans are interrupted by a call from Rose revealing Leah has been involved in a car accident. Leah is breathalyzed, but the tests come back clear, leaving Justin wanting to know what exactly happened. Back at home, traumatized Leah admits the incident was her fault because she fell asleep at the wheel. The next day, Rose confirms the police won't be pressing charges but raises concerns about Leah's health. When Justin continues to push for details, Leah loses her temper and reveals she's unable to escape the horrors they suffered at the hands of Vita Nova. Kirby tells her bandmates she wants to use the money she made from selling her song to fund more studio time for Lyric's next album. Eden is overjoyed, but it's clear Remy feels uncomfortable about accepting money from their friend. After talking things through, Remy has a change of heart and is grateful for the opportunity to catch up with Kirby while Brie is at the hospital. But when Xander lets slip that Brie is actually enjoying a quiet night at home, Remy is left wondering why she lied to him about working. 